Okay, boys, on. Stretch. Come on, Art. Ready. Power, baby, go. He grabs his cinch and I'll get him behind. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. Tough one, boy. I love that heavy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> It really started in a shoebox in my study. There was nothing in place. We had very limited resources. When I went out to talk to executives and leaders in, in all sectors about ALF, they said, well, it sounds like ALF is just what the Valley needs. And some of them would say, I'll give you about a 10% chance of pulling it off. You know, people are just too busy and they're not going to give money to a new organization. So that 10% got me very focused. It's kind of incredible that Anne shows up to busk and asks a bunch of people to give up their time for something that's not easy to define in the beginning and join this class and start this thing. And class one did that. They took a leap of faith and they decided to participate. I think every one of us that has participated since then owes them an incredible debt of gratitude. As individuals, we are different and we are better as a result of our ALF experience. As human beings, as members of our families and our communities and in our work, as classmates, we are in a different and better relationship as a result of our ALF experience. And these deep relationships are one of the threads that holds the fabric of Silicon Valley together. At ALF, we have incubated, in incubated initiatives that continue to grow and expand. The Entrepreneurs Foundation, Encore Fellows, First Act, to Reviving California, to Safer San Jose. During the next 25 years, this impact will be the foundation on which to build ALF's future. This year, ALF will graduate twice as many senior fellows as we have in the past, allowing us to have even greater impact and to create a future distinct and even better than the past. was ever a time for ALF deep listening and dialogue, it is right now. We have an incredible opportunity to leverage our shared experience in ALF and our leadership stance to change systems for the better. Systems that perpetuate a bias, that prevent access, whether on purpose or because they're stuck access to greatness, access to opportunity, and access to that thriving and inclusive Silicon Valley. It's our job to question, and it's our opportunity right now 